Stockholm Syndrome describes the psychological condition of a victim who identifies with and empathizes with their captor or abuser and their goals. Stockholm Syndrome is rare. According to one FBI study, the condition occurs in about 8% of hostage victims. However, comma, think about the term happy wife, happy life, and then slide that onto she's never satisfied. And we know we use our father as a punching bag a great deal of times because he was held hostage in that marriage. It was cheaper to keep our mother. No, 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 no. All them kids and everything. And then once we all started getting grown and out of the house because the, the next one, 12 years in front of us, and we urged our mother to leave our father because we knew our father would never leave our mother. However, comma, he was being abused the whole time because you can't make a woman satisfied. And the only time my, my, our mother actually started to yell at our father more frequently than she yelled at us because he was her man child. You understand? He was her man child. And so a great deal of these men in these successful marriages where they tell you it's work and marriage is supposed to be work. You're not supposed to punch out a clock and have to come back home to work again too. It's about commitment, understanding, acceptance, and love. That's what a marriage is. And those of us that are smart enough to not participate in Stockholm Syndrome, we're not giving bad advice. We're giving you the advice to make sure that the man, happy house, happy house. R-E-X.